Rod? Well, this is kind of a repeat of what happened back in May. Much hope for uh, Kwame Kilpatrick's family that he would be released early. But we're not getting much indication from anybody that this is the real deal. So we'll just have to wait and see. Kwame's sister Ayana put out a social media post last night, quote, due to suffering severe health challenges, we expect Kwame Kilpatrick to receive a grant for COVID-19 compassionate release from the Federal Bureau of Prisons this week, end quote. It's a surprising development considering the family went through this back in May. The Kilpatrick family made a very public and hopeful pronouncement then, saying that they expected him to be released from prison due to COVID-19. At the time, Detroit State Representative Sherry Gay Dagnogo spoke for the family. Very disappointing, but more than disappointing, confusing. Um, confusing because we had gotten notice that he had been um, granted home confinement. But in the end, the Federal Bureau of Prisons denied that request. Now, Federal Judge Nancy Edmonds sentenced Kilpatrick to 28 years in federal prison back in 2013 after his conviction for public corruption, mail fraud, wire fraud, and racketeering. It's too much time. It's too much time. One of Kwame's sons, going by the stage name Jojo the Doughboy, put out this video shortly thereafter, expressing the family's views 28 years was beyond the pale. It's too much time, there was no crime. He's trapped inside, what they minimize, what he did for the city. Kwame Kilpatrick is now 50 years old, serving his time in the Oakdale Federal Penitentiary in Louisiana. The Bureau website still states that his expected release date is January 18th, 2037. So where we are this morning is a lot of questions to be answered. Was it Pete Carmanos, the former CompuWare chairman, that uh, may have influenced the president to do this? Or is it, in fact, even happening? We'll have to be checking in with the Bureau of Prisons later on today to find out. Reporting live in Dearborn, Rod Maloney, Local 4.